Just like we're clueless about what lies above the skies, we're also quite oblivious to the ocean's mysteries that can fill our lives with wonders beyond our imagination. What secrets is the ocean hiding from us? What is its unrevealed power? Do you guys know scientists have discovered a road 1,029 meters deep under the ocean? Does it raise your curiosity? Are you keen on knowing the details? Were there any mermaids? Did they finally find the lost city of Atlantis? Well, we have all the answers to your questions, but you'll have to stick with us till the end. Ever wondered why we humans have not explored the ocean depths? Not like our scientists aren't interested. When it comes to space exploration, we know our limits. There's altered gravity, which can seriously derange our body functions. Secondly, we have deadly radiation, which can cause eye cataracts and even Alzheimer's. Don't get me started about the lack of water and nutrients, but have you thought about the constraints when it comes to marine life? And let me tell you, as you descend down the ocean, the atmospheric pressure decreases. This is the weight of the water above you adding up. For every 32.8 feet you drop, the pressure jumps by one atmospheric pressure, roughly equating to about one ton per square foot. The average depth of the ocean is 12,100 feet, which equals the pressure of 369 atmospheric pressures. 369 tons per square foot is no easy deal. A scuba diver will be debilitated before reaching this depth. There can be severe nitrogen toxicity that can dissolve in the blood under high pressure and cause nitrogen toxicity. So the divers have to be super careful because even a tiny mistake from their side can lead to them losing their lives. But just because it is physically impossible for humans to explore the ocean depths doesn't mean scientists will sit idly. Marine scientists in the Ocean Exploration Trust have built specialized remotely operated scuba vehicles. The most prominent among these vehicles is the ROF Hercules. Though its name is Hercules, this vehicle is the same size as a Volkswagen Beetle car. But hey, don't judge this little vehicle by its size because it can easily explore the ocean depths unreachable by humans. The pressure does not disturb it and nor does the ocean depth frighten it. It is equipped with two remote controlled arms and a sensor that can detect everything from temperature to oxygen concentration. The six thrusters steer it in any direction the scientists want. During one of these ventures of ROH Hercules, diving 3,376 feet deep along the Nootka Seamount, an underwater volcano in the Pacific Ocean north of Hawaii, the scientists struck upon an unusual finding. The scientists did not even imagine that they'd find something like that because they were exploring to collect samples of ferromanganese crust. So everything was going out according to plan when Hercules turned and suddenly the scientists noticed something strange in the ocean environment. They steered Hercules towards it. At first glance, they thought it was a dried ocean bed with a unique pattern. But with a more observant look, the whole thing itself was extraordinarily as this grid pattern actually looked like a yellow brick road. One of the crew members shouted in excitement, I feel like I'm looking at the road to Atlantis. But guys, neither was it the path to the lost city of Atlantis, nor did it lead to another magical city. This yellow brick road was a result of ancient volcanic activity. These yellow brick stones are actually hyaloclastite rock. This particular form of volcanic rock consists of glass fragments and is associated with violent volcanic activity. So what happens is when this hot lava reaches the cool ocean water and immediately contracts into solid rock. This immediate contraction is what causes these newly formed rocks to crack and then split into these surprisingly uniform pathways. This is what we call heating and cooling stress in the language of geology. During one of the clips of voyages, one of the team members exclaimed, yay, very charismatic. It is quite delightful to see our scientists so elated with new discoveries. Still, the question arises if we'll be able to witness more magical discoveries like this as we are rapidly destroying the marine environment. It still amazes me how 80% of the underwater world is undiscovered and waiting for us to mystify with out of the world findings. So guys, that's all I had for you today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. See you soon.